so we're going to get started with our Firebase real-time chat application by creating a new project. And we're going to call this Messenger. Let's save it to our desktop. And we're going to be doing some setup work before we can dig into every specific part of this application. So the first thing we're going to do is set up Git to track the various progress that we make on our project in terms of source control. So open up terminal and CD into your project and it's messenger for us. And you're going to start by doing a git init. And then you're going to do a git add with a period. Now, if you type in git status, you'll see all this stuff is in green. And we're going to commit this as our initial git commit of this fresh new project we've created. So I should have mentioned, if you don't have git installed on your computer, you can go to Google and just search about uh, how to get it installed. It's very straightforward. Git is a source control mechanism to allow us to track the various commits and code changes we make uh, throughout the duration of this project. So I'm going to do a git commit with a dash m for message. And we're going to say getting started. Now if we do a git status again, you'll see that we don't get anything because we have committed everything that was new. If we do a git log, we'll see our first commit, the time when it was created, and our commit message. Awesome. So the next thing we want to do is initialize CocoaPods. We're going to be using CocoaPods to bring in a variety of frameworks that will help us polish up this app, do image fetch, caching, uh, and a lot of glue of the app. And we're going to do some things manually and some things we're going to leverage these frameworks for. So to do that, you want to do a pod init. And if you do a git status now, you'll see the new thing that we have here is this pod file. And we're not going to add any frameworks to this yet. We're going to do that piece by piece as we start building this whole thing out. But what I want you to do is add this by doing a git add. And you saw that I typed in status. That's because I have things aliased on my computer, but you're going to have to type in git status. You'll see that the pod file is now staged. And let's go ahead and leave this like this because we're going to add some files in here before we commit all this. Cool. So the other thing I want to do before we actually dig into each piece is take care of our directory structure over here. So you'll notice that the files that the template gives us is all under our root project folder. What I want you to go ahead and do is create a few folders by doing right click and new group. The first one we want is controllers. That's where all our controllers will live. The next one I'd like you to do is views. Let's go ahead and also do another one for models. And let's do one more for view models. And last one, we're going to do resources. So let's grab the app delegate, the scene delegate, and drag these under resources. View models, models, and views. Uh, well, actually, views won't be empty right now, but view model and models will be empty. Grab your view controller and drag it under controllers. Grab your assets, storyboard for your main and your launch image, and drag that under uh, views. And what I also like to do is create another folder under views called storyboards. And let's put our storyboards into this folder. So I'm pretty OCD about organization early on in projects. And the reason is, is because this can get out of hand very quickly. So we want to make sure that things are set up to have a home for each type of object and file that we uh, anticipate creating. So now that we have this part situated, let's also go ahead and change the name of this view controller. Uh, it's a very generic name the template gives us that's not really descriptive or indicative of what this controller will do. So we're going to go ahead and rename it. So this controller that we ha are given by default, we're going to call this conversations view controller. And once you change it here, don't forget to change your file name. And even more important than that, don't forget to go to your main.storyboard. And for this controller, select it, 
hit this tab here, and you'll notice that this is still a view controller. You want to change this to your new name, which is Conversations View Controller. Uh, if you don't update the name here and try to run your app, your app will crash. So make sure you get that updated there. And let's see, what else do we want to do? The other thing we want to do is come back to your project navigator and we want to adjust some of these settings in here. So we are going to target both iPhone and iPad uh, so we can keep that the same. We are going to also target the latest iOS version. Uh, go ahead and feel free to change it to just iOS 13 if you want. We are going to use iOS 13 uh, objects so I would make that the minimum. Anything in here is good. The thing we do want to change is uncheck the landscape support. We are not going to be supporting landscape in this project. Uh, all of this jazz, we can keep the same for now. And let's go to our info.plist and confirm one more thing. So in here, we want to open up both of, uh, or all three of these uh, arrays. And you'll notice that for uh, this one down here, we still have a landscape in here for the iPad orientation, even though we unchecked it in the project navigator. Go ahead and select those two rows and just hit backspace to get rid of landscape for iPad support. And let's see, what other setup do we want to do? We're not going to touch any code or view controller stuff in here. We've updated this. I guess what we can also go ahead and do is start creating classes, uh, just the like empty raw files for what we anticipate we will need. And in our next videos, we're just going to pick up where we leave off. So none of this will be changed. So let's go ahead and think about the controllers we need. So we're going to right click and do a new file. And we're going to always do a Cocoa Touch class. And it'll be a subclass of a UI view controller without a XIB or a nib. And if we think about what we need, the first thing that we are going to need is a login view controller. So go ahead and make sure that's Swift. Hit enter twice to create it and put it in your project. Uh, let's not worry about editing anything for now. Let's do that one more time. And we also want a register view controller to create new accounts. And one more time. And we are going to be allowing the user to send photo and video messages. So for those messages, we want to create a dedicated space where they can tap into those messages and either play the video or where the user can uh, enlarge the photo and zoom into it and take a look. So we're going to create a photo viewer view controller. And similarly for videos, we are going to create a video player view controller for our actual screen where the user can type messages send and receive them uh, we're not going to create a controller for that just yet but what we do want to create a controller for is uh, the screen where a user can create a new conversation so where they can search for another user that they want to chat with uh, and see if that username is uh, real if it exists and select that person so we're going to create another controller and call that uh, new conversation view controller. It's a bit of a longer name, but that's okay. It's pretty descriptive. And let's see what else. We're also going to create one final view controller and I'm going to call this profile view controller. So our logged in user, once we have all that set up, can go to their profile and take a look at their uh, profile picture, their details, their name, their username, all that jazz. So we're going to call this uh, profile view controller. And I think I'll pause this video here, or rather we'll wrap up this getting started here. So just a quick recap, we created our directory structure to be a little more organized. We added a bunch of view controllers here that we haven't touched at all. We renamed our first template view controller. We updated this to only be uh, usable in the portrait mode. So no landscape support. And we set up Git. We set up CocoaPods by doing a pod in it. And I actually didn't mention it. If you don't have CocoaPods installed, go ahead and install it with Homebrew or any other mechanism. You can just Google how to install CocoaPods and it's fairly straightforward. And before we close out this video, if we do a Git status, you'll see that we have things in here that are not committed yet. So we want to do a Git add. 
do a get status again. And now you'll see that there are a bunch more things in here. So these are all of the things that were modified and the new files we added as we were editing in our source code. So we're gonna do git commit and we're gonna say wrap up getting started. And it commits all of it. We can clear the text in here with the command K and let's do a git status and you see nothing is left to be committed. So like I mentioned, we will be periodically staging and committing our changes for the sake of saving our code and uh, I plan on making it available to all of you so stay tuned for that. So that said, if you haven't hit that like button down below, make sure you absolutely destroy it for the YouTube algorithm. Get excited for the next video, subscribe if you're new, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in part two.